I'm the bachelor farmer cook. I'm not a chef. Chefs know what they're doing. Now today we're going to do a bachelor farmer cook staple, the taco meat. Now the taco meat is the main ingredient in your tacos, of course, quesadillas and nachos. So I chose to use ground chicken for my tacos because I eat way too much pork and turkey makes me sleepy. And you can't have beef every single day of the week, but chicken you can get away with. One thing you have to remember about chicken, along with your ground turkey and your ground sausage, is that it's a very thin little meat. So you want to heat it up at about 60%. Beef's very thick, you can do it at full heat, it separates, takes the heat no problem. This will turn into one giant hamburger patty. So, we're going to add our meat to our already slightly preheated pan. And we're going to start separating this. And we want to keep it moving. Remember, medium heat, keep it moving. Now my chicken isn't beef, so I have to make my chicken think it's a cow. Now what I do by doing that is I add, of course, our spices. We're going to start with a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of lemon pepper. I think the lemon adds for chicken and turkey. And then I add a little bit of smoked paprika just to make it slightly smell like it's been next to a fire. Now, the other secret ingredient to making chicken think it's a cow is, worst, is, just, is your worst sauce. I think you guys know which one it is, but it has a multitude of flavorings that really trick this chicken into thinking it's a cow. Okay, now I've got it pretty well broken up and cooked through. At this point in time, we want to go ahead and add the rest of our ingredients. One of the other reasons why I like to use ground chicken is because you don't have to drain it. It doesn't have any fat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add our package taco seasoning. You get this in the package at the store. I go with the less sodium type. Also, I want to go ahead and add my canned tomatoes and chilies. I put the tomatoes in the taco, not on the taco. Now I also want to have some water in here so that I can reduce this down and get all of those flavors really inside of the meat. So I want to fill up my can about halfway and I want to swirl it around and get all that stuff. Don't leave it in the can, put it in your pan. We'll put that in there, get this combined. Go ahead and turn my heat up. And once I've got all of this combined, I want to go ahead and cover it, bring it to, a, I'm sorry, I want to bring it to a boil and then I want to cover it, reduce it to a simmer, and let it slowly steam out all of that flavor and all of that water. So I go ahead, cover it up, let that steam out. And I thought while this was going to go ahead and reduce, it's going to go for about 20 to 30 minutes or so. Um, let it steam out that water on simmer, slowly but surely. Keep checking it about every five to ten minutes or so. And I thought while that was cooking, we'd go ahead and take a look at something else. Here at my mom and dad's house, they have these really interesting things called measuring spoons and measuring cups. Now I know we tend to use wine bottles and, and bottle caps here on this show. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to go over the chart of equivalent... The chart of equivalent... I thought this would be a, a good time to go over the the chart of equals. One beer bottle cap, that's your teaspoon. A wine bottle cap, that's going to be your tablespoon. Shot glass, that's your quarter cup. And the 16 ounce beer can, if you fill it up halfway, that's your one cup measure. If you have these measurements, you can read and fake any recipe that's out there, a little more, a little less, never hurts, always, always flavor to taste. You all know exactly what the beer bottle cap looks like. This is a different one. Most people aren't too used to this one, but on the top of cheap wine is this bottle cap. This bottle cap, that's your tablespoon. And of course you have your shot glass and then for a cup, like I said, half a beer can if it's a 16 ounce, small wine glass, sometimes is the same size, or you can use a cup. Now I can smell that taco meat, so I think we're really getting close here. Let me double check. It's been about half an hour. Yep, all that water's reduced out. This is now 
your taco meat. Once cooked, it lasts in the refrigerator for about a week, unless you have a roommate or you come home drunk around midnight or so, then it won't last two days. This is the perfect ingredient for, yes, your tacos, your quesadillas, and your nachos. So enjoy, and remember, like fine wine, women may be a mystery, but your kitchen doesn't have to be. So until next time, be good, be good at it, and stay out of my cooler. Be sure to join us next week for Homestyle Chicken Soup.